Boss Tamp in this mug. Today we're doing a July painting challenge appreciation video for Dice Miniature Paint Guy. Dice Miniature Paint Guy decided to go with a Colossal from Signar and uh, this guy. And his project was great. I enjoyed following it a lot. I really like seeing it come up and also because he had a little slip up at the beginning where they sent him one with two right feet or two left feet or something. He had to wait, so he was actually behind on the challenge, but um, was able to get it finished, and it looks fantastic. So here I am at the Privateer Press website. I'm looking at the Signar models, and the aesthetic, I really like it. They seem to be, they're all in blue, so and they're one of the two main starter factions, so I kind of have in my mind that they're the quote-unquote good guys of the game. I mean, look at this. They're all over the background. Signar, Signar, Signar. So, yeah, the storm wall, that's the one that Dice Miniature Paint Guy had for the challenge. And what, what a model to do for the challenge. Just look how amazing it is. If you want to get a sense for really, truly how massive in scale it is, you should really check out his challenge videos if you haven't watched them yet. But boy, oh boy, it is, it is a colossal miniature. I don't even know if it should be called a miniature. Because other units that they have, uh, I, I really like the blue. I like the way the blue offsets the gold. Uh, it's not, it's it's got a dark blue with a more of a sky blue, light bluish hue to it. So it's not as, as deep and rich a blue as the Games Workshop Ultramarines. They've got, uh, it's got a different look to it, which I think is fantastic. So here I am on the on uh, my one of my favorite websites to go for fluff just because of how cynical and awesome they are it's the 1d4chan and I'm taking a look at them and uh, it says why play Signar? Signar is the go-to faction for the color blue guns lightning and lightning guns it's rare to see a soldier of the Cygnus without some kind of ranged option and the same goes to their war jacks while they aren't the toughest kids on the block, they can certainly hit you fast and at range. With range buffs, some of their models can hit your deployment zone from turn 1. Their melee doesn't suffer though, as they have some shockingly strong knights and cavalry, which, true to the boys in blue, can also shoot lightning as well as hit people with it, as well as tricksy close combat jacks that rely more on disrupting the enemy rather than outright destroying them, though they can do the latter just fine. So that kind of makes me think if I was going to get into War Machine that if I wanted a ranged army, someone that stood back and just kind of shot and kind of outmaneuvered and was still able to use uh, shooting tactics, then this would be probably the lightning, uh, the, the faction, excuse me, that I would go with. So I don't really know anything about War Machine. And uh, when I read it, when I read the general strategies, they all seem, they all seem like good to me. But... Um, really, because I don't know anything about it, I can just kind of, kind of read through and see what uh, what the what the strategies are, and kind of wrap my head around that. So they seem like they've got all these it, with everything in War Machine. There seems to be so much strategy involved in uh, putting units together, finding out the best combinations and the best tricks that you can use. And so, I mean, Signar is like you know one of the one of the go-to guys. And uh, here I am at battlecollege.wikispaces.com, and this seems to be a fantastic website to go to if you play War Machine. It tells you about the kingdom, it tells you about uh, their strengths, Signar is the ranged faction, Signar is a fragile army, Signar loves lightning, and Signar has the widest array of mercenaries available for hire. And then it breaks down all of the different units, just like 1d4chan, but it also has some great pictures here on the side. Oh, this great shot of this army. Look at this. Fantastic. Unbelievable. Really cool. And it also tells you strategies on facing other other factions. So I think that's great. I mean, this seems like a fantastic website to be on. So if you play War Machine, here's to be the place to go. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll put a little link in the video description below to get to Dice Miniature Paint Guy's channel. Thank you, Dice Miniature Paint Guy, for participating in the July Painting Challenge. And we'll see you all in the next video. Laters!